Eternal Fry podcast with your host C. Look, man. What's up, everybody? This is Silomon. I am extremely happy. I'm so happy. I'm so deeply honored. And it's just great that the universe has returned the recorder for the podcasting. There was about a month in between where I didn't do any of any podcasting at all because I actually lost my recorder. And it was the universe saying, um, it's time to take a break for this for a while and, you know, go deeper within myself and work on some issues before I could, you know, start this podcasting again. Um, but I was at Hoodly Do. Uh, I recorded an interview with Ashton and Katie, which I'll play in a few minutes. But um, when we left Hoodly Do, I couldn't find my recorder, and so I thought it was lost forever in the sea of the universe, but um, I got a message on Facebook randomly, and uh, Amy found my recorder when she was leaving Hoodly Do, and so she messaged me on Facebook and said that she had it, and it just comes at such a perfect timing for me, because I, I was just talking to a few people about wanting to get back into the podcasting thing so just the universe always works out at a perfect time I like to call it divine time even though time is illusion but just divine time anyway uh, here's the interview that I had with Katie and Ashton and this was played at Hootily Do so this was an interview which I thought I would never be able to play but now I am so Enjoy this, and thanks for listening to the Eternal Tribe podcast. <laughs> I just absolutely love these festivals, and I'm so glad you guys got me to this next one, because I've surely missed it. Me too, dude. It's like, I just want to be with all the society. You know? like, no, me too. The people really are good. so cool and chill, and like friendly and themselves, you know, expression is not condemned in, like, this whole, whatever you want to call it, collective. I like to think of it as, like, a big yeah. amoeba, because we're all, like, single-celled mm-hmm. organisms, or, like, we're, like, individual cells in the human body, and, or, like, if we're, like, the beginning of evolution, <laughs> for instance, and then we're just starting to, like break past the single cell organism going to the multi organism we're like amoeba <laughs> it's like the beginning of evolution like fractaling <laughs> all over again uh, I really realized that rewire it's like it's an amoeba because when there's no rules and it's all enclosed and it's all good people just everything can come out it's such a safe environment for your soul, and your soul knows so it just heals. Opens up. Thank you. I want to get into bowing more. <laughs> when I touched your feet earlier, that's um. Like, a greeting of the Niankari. Niankari means the formless. So it, it's like the Niankari off... Niankari means formless. Niankar. Niankar. Niankar, yeah. Exactly. Nian. Ni and car. Ni and car. Niankar. Niankar. And then Niankari. Niankari. Someone who follows Niankar, like the formless one. And um, so, like, to greet someone who's endowed with the knowledge, like, they're, like, endowed with the wisdom, you, like, <laughs> touch it forward to their feet, and, like, that's how you greet, and I've really been into that, I think that's really yeah. important. Yeah, should do that, people might, some people might be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but, I think, it's, like, only... I think that's like a, like a, I see the enlightened in you, but I feel like it's for someone who like, 
is who has the knowledge, you know what I mean? Who has the truth? Who understands the truth? Um, that didn't work. I, I like, I nod my head. It feels very, very natural. Especially when people are complimenting me. I feel like the only thing I do is like, thank you, and like bow my head to them. Because they're being so gracious. I'm always, I'm still programmed to like go to shake hands, and I'm like, even when I go, because I'm that's what everybody does in the other world. That's why I love you know, being I mean, here. People just, just hug. Hug. Yeah. High fives are cool too, but yeah, hugs are so. I have to like touch them a lot. High fives are so energizing. Yes, they are. Right. Bam! That slap. Bam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was hurt. You take so a little bad. bit. Yeah. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> Whoa. Some people like go full force at it. And, yeah. Like, I hate that shit. You, <laughs> really? I'm getting to like it. Unless I like get yeah. prepared. Yeah. If you don't know it's coming, then it's like. <laughs> oh. I can't help like, it. Give me a, a sign. Have you right, Matt? Oh, no, those are My cheap. hand is still sore. Yo, high five. Give a high five. Like, I have to, like, really, like, whip it to, like, as, as I feel like the whole high five. What? My forehead is, like, morphine, it feels like. Morphine? You know, like, my face is, like, shifting. I had been feeling a lot of like activity in my third eye. It was like, a lot like when we were at your show. I swear, when we were meditating, like, it's the best I've ever heard. like my forehead would just yes. get, my third eye was like, <laughs> so tingly. That and the like feeling all those vibrations were so crazy. I had my first experience. Well, I came here earlier today, and this kid was like, "Hey, you play electronic music, and play guitar over it." You're my best friend. You recognize me. That's so awesome. Or at least like it helps me know that I'm actually connecting with people. Rather than like, oh my god. Soul purpose activated. Yeah. Oh. 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 Favorite mantras: the Sat Nam, to do it with like your breath, and mostly in your mind, but saying it out loud is really awesome too. Like, yes. With every breath in, think Sat. 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 And every breath out, think Nam. 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 Sat. Oh, and like. Sat Nam. Yeah. Nam. And like Kundalini Yoga, there's like this one pose where you're like you're on your knees. I gotta think it, you can't miss it. Yeah. What does it mean? The truth within yourself or something like that. The truth is within you. Damn, that music sounds awesome. So there's this one Kundalini yoga pose, which I feel like is really, really important. It's like sit on your legs like this and your arms are straight overhead. I can't get my arms straight because we're in the tent right now. <laughs> and then it's really, really powerful to con. Well, you're really gonna have to pee after this. Well, it's gonna help you actually because you contract the lower three, what they call bandies, which are the, the muscles around that chakra. So your solar plexus, it's your abdomen, and then your sacral chakra, it's your urethra. So like, it's like literally that muscle. That like holds pee. Yep. You know what I mean? If you you're holding your pee, you see muscles. Um. Um. Is that what it's called? Your scrotum. It, um. Also known as PC muscles. Yeah. What's PC stand for? Uh, I like.
like that's a word that's close to Phoenix Wright Sonata. People talk about all the time, like, don't you do Kegel exercises? Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing. If you've ever heard of Kegel exercises, it's that muscle. But you know what I'm talking about. And then the, the, the root is your butt muscle. So, your butthole. So you go sat now? Your butthole. Sat you hold your arms up, and then you, on sat, you contract them all. You uh, even your butthole? Yeah, all okay. of them. All three of them. And then you breathe out and go, nah, and you relax. <laughs> and you bring it down. You're, you're like, oh, wait, that. you don't bring it down? I keep my arms up. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, if that feels good for you, I'm yeah, very like into it. like doing yoga intuitively. But yeah, you do it faster, so. No, you can even do it with your arms straight down because it's like we're kind of restricted. Sut, sut. Yep, energizes all the kundalini energy through your face. Plus it connects to those lower three chakras, which... It's important to fully embody. I can feel like my third eye chakra like blowing up as well at the same time. Yeah, because literally it sh starts shooting that energy up through your chakras. By like squeezing it. It's like pumping the energy. <laughs> it's all very scientific. Oh. So cute. There's a stage right next to us. It's like a family. Like a mom and dad. Dude. It's the most precious thing I've ever seen in my life. On vibration and vision. So rapidly right now. I oh, always remember in like, um, Remember Be Here Now by um, Ram Dass. There's a part by this guru at the very end. He's like, acid or LSD is like Christ consciousness in form. And I was like, it's weird to read that. It was before I took acid. And then I read the whole book on acid. Once I did to you know what book I'm talking about? It's like blue with the chair on the front. And there's brown pages that are super psychedelic. You would love it. It's called Remember Be Here Now. Remember Be Here Now. Yep. Be here now! Yeah, I would say that this definitely brings you deeper into the moment. I used to think about taking stuff like that to like get out of my reality because I wanted like something crazy. Right, exactly. It's like, it's weird, actually. So true. Oh. Wow. God has a sense of humor, apparently. I mean, it's cool, like, if you stay in your lower chakras and you're tripping, you, like, won't get hijacked. You know, you won't get, like, Just, like fucking... Because it's really easy to, like, have negative beings attached to you when you're tripping. so much. You're welcome. Yep. Like, I feel like that's what happened to Jimmy. He just, like, all upper chakras popped out of his body. Hey, look, a free body. Yep, it happens to a lot of people. But when you feel your lower like, <laughs> chakras, you just feel sexy like, instead of negative. That's like a group why we, like, had to protect that guy's body. Did we tell him about that? No, that's a really it's great crazy. story. I love it's so hear. crazy. Can I start? Please yes. do. You're a much better storyteller than me. I'm good with like two or three sentences. And like, someone take over. And I'll like write I love, something. Like, you like I can you write jump paragraphs. in. Like you're like, oh, in like, that one detail. Okay. So we were totally watching Odd, I believe. Was it or was it right before Odd? Came right before. It was Signal Path. Signal Path. Right before Odd, at the main stage, Blue Wire, and then like all of a sudden, like. Right in front of us, I just we realized there's this guy, completely out of body, like his, standing there like this. His his arms are like forty, like just up, straight. and he's just like not there. And then we we're all like, whoa, this guy's like we're like not there. He was like stood there over the entire time. He was out like that for like twenty five 
30 minutes at least. It's way too long. Everyone's like doing all sorts of stuff. Like he does not budge his hands. We came up to him. I was rubbing his back. We were rubbing his hands. We were moving his hands up and down and he would just like always return to the same spot. Like completely unaware that things were going on around him because it's like his his light body wasn't in his his physical body at all. I was like, dude, he's he's gone. And I remember like we, I was like dancing around him and Ashton was like standing right next to him and we I felt like we were just like guarding his body because we knew he was like traveling out in the astral realm. And yeah, like, I know how susceptible bodies can that. be. Like demons and can I like saw come in. Everywhere. Demon? Just the one. I just cleared it away. And then even this girl came up and like we were like I remember we were both like rubbing his hands and I was like going around and anyways, like signal path ends and everyone leaves and goes to the other stage where Ott was playing and like Ashton's going to the bathroom and I'm like standing here waiting with the guy who's not really in his body. He's just standing there, like eyes dream, closed, just like arms halfway up. Walkers, just like, like standing there. Like he looked like he was like taking off literally. Because he like he was all like super energized. Like you could tell he was experiencing so much, but he like wasn't connected to like our re our realm anymore and then we were about to leave and I was like, Ashton, we cannot leave this guy, like in this body. We were, like, everyone was gone. He was like this one random guy, not in his body really, like in this like field. And then I like took his hands and I brought them together. And I was like, you know, just going up and down with his hands and shaking, shaking his hands up and down. And then I was like talking to him and I was saying all this stuff. I don't remember what I was saying until I was like, are you ready to come back to your body now? And then all of a sudden he comes in and he opens his eyes and he's like so overwhelmed with so much emotion, like almost bursting into tears. And he's like freaking out. He's like, oh, oh that'd be like oh. freaky. It was like, it was and he's like, then he starts looking at Ashton and he's like, oh. And he's like looking through Ash and he's like oh. <gasps> I did not. Like, then the other girl who was there before comes back. She like puts a sweater on him. We're feeding him water. And I'm like, do you know this guy? And she's like, no, I don't know that guy. We didn't know that guy. We were a bunch of strangers who were taking care of this guy. And it was just like, it was so beautiful. And then I was like, he's back in his body. This girl's taking care of him because they're feeding him water and they're like having this connection. I was like, okay, it's good. Have, like blasted off on some deemsters. Yeah. Will just got here. What? Yeah, Will's right there. Will who? What? Yeah. He was coming? Will. Will. Hey, Will. Hey, Bill. So, Bill. and then I was like, we went to the next show, and I'm like, that guy's life is fucking changed forever. <laughs> and we need to talk to him and talk to him about his experience. Family. I'm wondering if that's it. Oh. You guys want to finish this and go? Yes. And so that was pretty much. So we saw him the next day, uh, and we found out that he took. Um, he was just on mushrooms. Yeah, he he was like completely out of body. On yeah, yeah, for like 45 minutes maybe. Yeah. That's like the crazy part. It's like so long. This like really I've helps you realize him. that like spirits embodying these bodies because it was his body was like cold he could have if he wasn't gone any longer yeah